That's actually a really good question. So what they mean by rip is this. Here are all the notes in between, not just the low D flat and the high D flat. So how do you play that legato without doing the rip? You actually just do a rip really fast. So if I just do that rip on this mouthpiece, it sounds like this. It's actually a gliss. It's doing all the notes in between without any breaks. So if I speed that up on the mouthpiece, it gets faster, but you're still not having any breaks. And what that sounds like on the horn is this. So the faster you do it, of course you have to be accurate with the low and the high where you stop that gliss, but the faster you do the gliss, the fewer of those inner notes that actually come out. So the difference between an octave leap and a rip is just a faster gliss.